Hello, hello, and welcome to a new episode here in Basque County. Do you remember this thing here? It used to be a trash facility, but now finally the government of the city decided what to do with it. And we're gonna get rid of this, because we have a big plan today. But first, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. We need our contours here as well. And... Yeah, oh, this is gonna take a while, actually, to get rid of all the trees here. Is there a better way to do it? I don't know. I'll just do it off camera and then maybe come back in a second. Alright, we got rid of everything. And... Yeah, it took a while, but now we can continue. And I've watched a video recently about city building, city planning. And in the video they were talking about hexagonal, hexagon blocks. And that's what I want to try in this video. Do you think hexagon blocks can work in this city? And the government decided to use this area here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get ourselves a good height. And I kind of like that. I would like it if it's a little bit on a plateau, right? So not on the height here that we have here with the city, with the street. So maybe we, we will take this one here and kind of if it's getting let's do it a little bit bigger we could go all the way here and yeah we will fill this area as well it used to be a nice area for garbage now it's gonna be an area for something else I'm not sure how how big it's gonna be actually it doesn't look too it looks a little bit big actually I don't know if we actually need so much but I mean this is an experimental build so it would be cool you know to just do some things here we can kind of smoothen things out here and especially here right now let's get started with the road layout so this is gonna be our hexagon block grid uh, area here let's just quickly get rid of some of those bushes here so we don't have to do it in the process what is this okay it's ac I, I've actually I found it a little bit tricky so let's use our um, rural areas, rural areas, rural roads. Let's use those. Um, and the thing is, yeah, where do we start? Where do we put our first hexagon? Because maybe we're gonna have one here, 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 and then go straight all the way here. So maybe let's start here with the middle. And I was thinking. What we could do is, we could use... Ah, you know what the mistake was? I planned with, with real streets, so the price is different, so I have no idea about the price. So I was going with um, 500. Maybe 500 this way. So let's go 500 this way, 500 this way and then we're gonna go half and connect half and connect this 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 and then we have our hexagon here right it looks pretty pretty neat i would say and now ah we have to keep those roads so we can go straight again right so it's gonna be 500 here Okay, it's gonna be 500 here, 
it's going to be 250 here and 250 here and this is going to be the middle part and there we have our second hexagon and now what we can do is go 500 here 250 here 250 250 thank you why not I think who this way I don't know if that is actually we need Okay, let me just fix this a little bit here. Oh no, we need the angle and 250. So it's here. Maybe this hexagon is not gonna be perfect. So yeah, there we have our grid. So let me just do a little bit more of that. So where do we go from now? Um, let's see. 500 here. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. I need the grid. I need the grid. Okay, 500 here. And also, ah, ah, it doesn't give me a good angle here, so we have to work with something else. Hmm, ah, it's getting trickier here because I feel, is that even? 250, 250, 250. And like this, all right. Okay, 500. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It, uh, uh, this is a little bit annoying. It needs to be perfectly aligned here. It's like this, right? Yeah. So this is the angle, and yeah, let's let's just check how it looks if we get rid of our helping roads here. So yeah, we have a hexagon grid here, and I kind of kind of like it, kind of dig it. Um, I have no idea. The zoning is gonna be horrible. That's the thing in city skylines, right? The zoning is gonna be really horrible so I don't know if it will look any good probably not so much but yeah there's nothing we c there's not much we can do now but oh I think this one is a little too far yes Yes, yes, yes. That one is not a perfect one. It was too long. So it has to go here. Oh, yep. This is correct. And then we go up 500 again. We go to... Nah, come on. Give me 250. This one doesn't like 250. Yeah, we can maybe work it out here. 250. Ah, uh -uh. it doesn't let me go where I need to go. I don't know, because it's actually perfectly aligned. So I don't know where the problem is. 
Let's just connect this up. No, that doesn't make sense to connect this. So let's see if we can get this here. Now this one road guideline is too much. I don't need it. This is what I want. This is what I want. And maybe, let's see, we can get one more here. 500 here. 500 there. Well, yeah, actually, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> the question is, as I said before, is it really practical in city skylines? I'm kind of doubtful because we already saw that the... looks something like a future thing we already saw that the yeah the zoning is terrible maybe it's about the size and also what we need to remember is we don't have any demand f we don't have any demand for residential now so this is gonna be a little bit of a problem and we need a road that connects us from here to here. So where should we go? Maybe we can just use this one. With our free form tool. But uh, let's just smoothen things out a little bit here. Let's use that one. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger for the road and yeah, I always forget how this works uh, phew. so let's go uh, we want to come down here right okay and now with our tool we will go all the way here. Yeah, looks, looks good, looks good. I'm happy. <laughs> this is our connection, our first connection. And yeah, let's, I don't know, what should we do? Um, we can, of course, use some of these for parks, right? Uh, especially... I was maybe the hexagons are too small. I'm thinking it maybe the hexagons are too small. Hmm. Maybe if we go further into this area here, maybe we can try making some bigger ones. So, let's see. So we said 500. What if we use 1000? Oh, now I forgot where it was here. Oh, what, what did, what happened here? So, 500, 500, okay, so this is the middle here, I just needed this for the middle, um, 1000, wow, that's, of 
course a little bit bigger and then the middle is here and I would say it has to go until here right okay so this would be one of the bigger ones I think the zoning makes more sense here okay I see where this is going but yeah we can always try different things of course right 500 Actually, I made a mistake with the other one. It should have been here. So that's the one. So this one is a little bit off, right? It's 700, 750. It should be 750. So let's do this again. Let's delete our helping roads here. So which one is actually better? That's the question. So let's continue. Can we get one more here? I know it's tricky. But I just want to test it now so one we don't we need the helping roads so how long is it from here to here it's 1500 so all the way here this is the middle. Hexagons, and yeah, probably the bigger ones are much better. And now we have to find a way to actually do something with it. We still, and we, we have to find a way to get people into our city. So this will be a little bit tricky. Um, let's just place some high density here and there. These ones kind of look very similar. Um, what we could do is we can use our uh, pedestrian roads not sure which one um, go from where's half here and ah I wanted to do something else I wanna go how much did I go here 200 to 100 
Can we? Ah, uh, probably there's no park that we can put here, right? Nope. Only this one. Yeah, all right. And it's the problem, it's not symmetrical. Okay, then let's just get rid of this. Oh, someone is moving in and we have no electricity and no water. We do have water here, but of course it's completely wrong. Um, let's go underneath the roads here. Wow, this is going to be a tough one. Going all the way here and yeah maybe we don't need this anymore this was for the waste facility also with electricity let's see if we can maybe get some power across here for now for now. Okay, so people are moving in. And I see they don't really use the zoning very well. So we can still try hmm, which one are we using? Park roads, amusement. Oh, I like those. I like those ones here. So they are also ah, this time I want everything. They are also a little bit smaller. Why can't I just go until here? Any anyone knows why? Ah, it really breaks off our grid. So how much did I go here? 80. 80. Ah, I, ah, I, um, I accidentally clicked. Ah, let's go again. This one. Ah, no guidelines, please. Eighty and here, eighty and it's not gonna be the middle. I hate it. Let's make it the middle. There is not, there is no perfect middle here. Do you know what is the angle here? Can we know the angle, please? No. It's a 31 degree angle. Yeah, that's a different one. Oh, it's not gonna be perfect. But you know what? This is rubbish anyway. What I was doing here. What I can do is this. So we went 140. So this is 80. That's the same length. No, it's not. It is not. Let's do it again. 140. All the way here, 140 all the way here. Now this is the same. And now we could place something here, a bigger park if we want. Ooh, actually nice, right? Or we could build our own stuff here, right? So we need to dezone a couple of things here that were zoned 
for some reason. And maybe... Hmm, let's go for high... I would say, let's go for high density. Maybe here. On these roads. But... Let's go for lower density on all of these roads here. I prefer that. And maybe one of those roads can be a supermarket. Let's see how that works. We need to add our water. Electricity will hopefully jump. And actually I want to... What is this level? Level 2 should be maximum, so maybe level 1 would be better. Or go back to historical building, what I did in the other part of the city, for most of the parts at least. Um, let's continue with this one here. Maybe they want to have the same. So it was 120. The problem is it's zoning is really weird then 140 140 120 140 and then we can have another park here that one is too big what we could also do is make multiple parks here they have a park they have a dog park everyone likes that i don't know why the carousel is such a huge asset but it is so we can add something else something of our own liking here right and then we're gonna do the same here let's dezone a couple things um, go higher residential here on those ones I have some space for a supermarket and let's go with lower uh, residential buildings here I'm not sure if we're gonna have office space here actually um, yeah, let's see how this will look. And then we have our hexagon. And we probably want to connect this as well. So let's connect it here to this roundabout. <clears throat> let's see, how are we going to do this? So we want to come down here. And let's see, with that road, we can come, yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine to me. And we need our water, let's go this, this, and this. Electricity is fine, and there we have our... I was also thinking maybe putting some schools and so on, right? So maybe we have the demand of high schools somewhere here, right? Maybe this one can have a high school or elementary school. 
and yeah I guess those ones would be primarily low residential I'm thinking actually let's check how okay we need maybe we can put another school somewhere here and maybe also a high school oh, the high schools are extremely big assets oh that one could work maybe a high school for that one would be nice to have here right is that a high school that's an elementary school oh the high capacity high school is this one here has a good range actually so what we can do is we can place it here and then it messes up our electricity supply but that's not a problem we can just fix this easily what we can't fix is this one here who let's go what is the easiest way from here to yeah, I guess we'd have to go all the way around and also for electricity mm -mm -mm. how are we gonna play this I know how we're gonna play this we're gonna place some parks somewhere around here for example, the smallest one I think is the dog park right unfortunately it's never really nice doesn't really maybe here oh, electricity was not jumping of course let's place some more buildings here do we maybe hexagon with office space I'm thinking about it but I'm not really sure if that would be successful because it is mainly for it is mainly for yeah, residential areas here but it needs to jump somewhere here um, what we probably need to build is some healthcare a small clinic maybe here next to the park and the range is pretty good this is a firehouse where could we place the firehouse oh wow it has a really good coverage here actually mm, but let's place it somewhere where it doesn't really disturb let's place it here and then we have the police with a small police station I don't want to build it next to the school actually it has to be somewhere in the middle as well Yeah, maybe the police can go here and still has a good reach. Ah, we cannot neglect the water supply and the electricity needs to jump. So how about we build another, maybe something like this for people to enjoy, right? Let's see if if it's enough for the electricity to jump. It is. Anything else we need? Uh, maybe a incineration plant. There's a school here. 
So let's build this right here. Because why not? And our electricity jumped. So now we are all hooked up. I kind of like this system. I don't know if it's actually really good for the build. Okay, let's wait. Yeah, we have no demand. Uh, how can we increase demand here? Uh, let's check this one. Kind of looks cool. Like this, this thing. Um, what we could do... Um, let's make a district here. So it's let's call it uh, L hex L hex like our hexagon district and let's do something where's the high rise ban? There it is. No high rise buildings please. For now, I think that's it. Uh, let me check just the style. Anything we want. I think it's okay for now. Did we have any high rises here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, and we can see the... It looks a little bit weird. We do have a couple of issues here and there. Uh, let's try no let's try the same thing with this one as well oh. so yeah I already forgot it was 120 this way 140 this way and the same here. Of course we could change this up a little bit, but I think it's pretty it's pretty nice. Oh nice, we can have a plaza here, a plaza here, and this gives us some room for something that we can do ourselves. Yeah, I like it. Nice. And then we have High, 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 high residential areas around here, and low, 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 low. And of course, our uh, our shop. Let's not forget our shop. Maybe here, small corner shop. Nice. It is some somehow working a little bit, right? Um, yeah, we need to create more demand, of course, but our hexagon block neighborhood. Maybe we can add some office space around these. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not sure. This one is a little bit ugly. Yeah, we still have the old stadium here. That's the problem. This zoning. Ah, this one. Maybe. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, what we could do. Let's go further into this. And then we can zone this. I think it works. And when we have office space here, we might also get more people. Um, let's see, anything we have to do with school? We have schools, 
I think that is okay. We don't have any transportation here now. Garbage. Yeah, that is the big one. There's no garbage facility around here. So, yeah, we have to worry about that some other time. But I think... L... L Hex looks pretty cool. Um, let's give them some water. So people are moving in here. And yeah, wow. This is gonna be like our newest neighborhood here. Uh, let's continue. Yeah, there's a lot of empty space here. That is that is a thing, right? Because um, these small residential houses, they don't really use everything here. But, and I do agree, the lots are just too small. They are a little bit small. The hexagons, so it's kind of tricky. It is kind of tricky. Maybe can we? Maybe we can have one party hexagon here. Maybe can we make? A district in a district. No. We can't. Ah, oh, that is too bad. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, we can't do this. But, yeah, look at this. Look at this. It's starting to fill up. I like it. And I mean, it seems like it's just functioning like a normal residential zone. Um, something happened here. Maybe it burned out or something, I don't know. Um, it seems okay for now. So, yeah, let's... Ah, there's some problems. There are not enough educated workers. Okay. Well, education is a thing here. Do we have some education? <laughs> education boost. And we can place this one as well. This is going to be a smart city. Smart in terms of people, not in terms of technology. So, yeah. Looks pretty nice. We have to find out what we're going to do here. As well as this one here. We still have some space. Um, and then, yeah, this one is about to fill up. Yeah, probably the best way would be to fill this up with office. But mm, it's not supposed to be a mainly office thing here. It's supposed to be... A residential area so maybe we can have the center block here with high residential houses and they don't have any water so let's give them what they want okay now everything should be almost set up well, yeah, this is uh, this is our hexagon block build here. Kind of like it. It has something interesting. I don't know if it's a good thing for real cities, if it actually makes sense. But I think let's turn this off. For our build, it was pretty nice to try this out. Um, not perfect. We can see it, but yeah, look at the view when you're standing from here you can see a little bit the hexagons and the parks in the middle I guess are pretty nice so yeah 
um, if you like this and all the other videos don't forget to hit like and subscribe and always uh, give me some suggestions in the comments or feedback anything is appreciated so yeah thank you very much and I'll see you next time